than me! Hello, it's Pickles, and I'm back for Throwback Thursdays. This week, we have part two of our special Wigstock 1994 on the piers. Let's go to the show. You can't be any younger than this and still be a legend. This is taboo. Uh, Michael, Michael, like Michael Learned? Michaela, Michael. Oh, Michaela, Michael. With an I at the end. Hi, Michael. Taboo. This oh, is Taboo. Oh. Welcome to It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, it is a wonderful, it's an extra wonderful life today. You look beautiful. Very special, thank you. What do you think of Wigstock? Ten years. Oh my God, can you believe it? I was just a little girl when it started. Now I'm an old legend. A young legend. You I'm look a young fabulous. legend, thank you. I feel wonderful. I and as an artist too, you I, I, is it true what I read about you recently? I've always been an artist, yes. Uh, but recently wonderful. doing some major selling, yes or no? Things only get bigger and bigger here. The crowds keep coming. Have it's you performed yet? No, I'm about to hit the stage in a bit. In a bit. We'll have to watch. Um, what do you think of it being over on the piers this year? I, I live the piers. And here we are on the piers. The gorgeous view of uh, the World Trade Center. And what are you going to be performing this year? A special number called Why Are You Dressed Like That? An original composition. And why are you dressed like that? You have to wait and listen for the song. <laughs> I guess so. Well, thank you very much for saying hello to our... Hello. Hello. Take care. This couple has already been on It's a Wonderful Life. They were... Th this is the couple Ooh. moment on MTV. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. That was very nice of you. I saw you dancing up there in that Tarzana outfit. That was too. <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, it wasn't. That was. No, that's Sheena. So this is Veneer. And this is Veneer. They've also were in that swimsuit photo shoot and the video and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. All that confirmed. Oh. What do you think of Wigstock this year? Are you loving it's... it? Oh, it's, you know, just full of little, like, unexpected thrills and <laughs> flying objects. <laughs> no. no, it's uh, great. How about you? Yeah, I'm loving it, but I do miss the park in the East Village. But yeah, it's certainly a lot of fun. There's no place to run and hide here, is there? No, there's Absolutely not. not. No. Um, so when, when did your mother take over the show? Oh, this actually, I'm... Uh, Michael Wakefield's <laughs> distant cousin, Michael. You both look fabulous and, Thank you, um, Michael. and enjoy the rest of the week's time. Thanks. Thanks, sweetheart. Thank Take care. Bye. Wonderful performer, Sabrina Dubois. Welcome to It's a Wonderful Life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Are you Wigstock? Are you performing on stage this Yes, time? I am. I'm going up in about 10 minutes. Are you you're one of the dancers? Yes, I am. Up Second here? year in a row. Second year in a row, it's been fun, it's been very fun, but I don't know if I'm going to do it again next year because, honey, whew, it's a lot of work. And Corey, uh, rehearsing all week? All week, honey. All month, all year? All year. <laughs> no, for two weeks now, but it's gonna, it came together very nicely, working with a great group of girls, you know, and that's about it. And what do you think of the location, being in the piers? Um, it's nice, but I, I, I miss home. I miss home. Tompkins Square is home, you know. Definitely. Actually, since it's the 10th anniversary, you know, it would have been nice to be home. Keep the peace. This, uh, Give me the Coke, I'm Cindy Crawford. <laughs> when our show first started out, It's a Wonderful Life, this one was one of our professional go go on the street. This is girl. <laughs> Yeah, we've been on two times before this. So we're gonna go into Chic and then I'm gonna do my solo. You just, you look so fabulous. Every time you look more and more beautiful. Well, thank you, sugar. <laughs> so what are you performing for your solo? Solo? Um, it's a song called Hope. It's gorgeous. So I hope you do it. so much job. about positive energy. Thank yeah. you, baby. And what do you think about Wigstock being on the piers this year? Um, we're getting used to it. I mean, you know, then again, it's always about coming together and, you know, being in touch with yourself and secure enough with yourself that you can have a good time and be comfortable about it. So I think that it's going really well. <laughs> James F. Murphy. James, isn't that a man's name? Why, yes. Aren't you a man? You look like the epitome of a woman, the quintessence of a woman today. You are beautiful. Why, thank you. I spent a long time on my makeup. And have you been on stage? Have you performed? You're going to, or what? Well, I was just up between sets, dancing and having a fine time. I'll be appearing at Don't Tell Mamas Saturday, 
September 24th at 11 p.m. James F. Murphy, don't miss it. <laughs> She looks so fierce. This one is, oh, she's fabulous. And we will be seeing her also in Tu Wan Fu, right? Yes, I'm doing Tu Wan Fu. I did Tu Wan Fu, she's a choreographer, and it should be out in the summer. If I didn't say her name, this is Candace Kane. And how's Wigstock going for you so far? Wigstock is great. It's been long. I've done a few different things, but, and one more to go. I saw your, it's great. I saw your dance with uh, the two boys on the sides. It's wonderful. Oh, thank Fabulous. you very much. <laughs> I had a little shoe problem, but other than that, it went okay. So what do you think about Wigstock in general and being here on the pier? Um, it's, it's a beautiful day. It was supposed to rain today, and look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think that we needed this new space to allow more people to come and, and see it. And to see you. You look fabulous. Thank you. Um, enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, thanks. Bye. This is, uh, I guess, somewhat in disguise, a puppeteer who has done some uh, little things for It's a Wonderful Life. It's and true. maybe we'll put in a little things, snipper right big, here of, of some of those incredible creations that Basil has done. Or Basilina, have we decided on your name today? Basilik. I'm just trying to be myself, but I do look a little like Joni Mitchell, I think. <laughs> I love this show. Uh, are you doing any work that we can see coming up? Actually, I'll be performing at PS122 Friday the 9th. Then I'm leaving for France for a few weeks to perform. Wow. I'll be back though. Can you continue success in your wonderful puppeteering work? Isn't she hot? Work that stage, girlfriend. A famous politician here in New York City, Ruth Messenger. She, I've seen her at Wigstock before. You really seem to be a supporter of the people that are here. I mean, it's really wonderful to see someone in our corner. It's part of what makes New York great. It's a city with all kinds of people, and there's an event for every single group, and Wigstock is a glorious celebration. Now, I've seen in other years that you declared a Wigstock day in Manhattan. Is today... Just wait. I'm waiting for the break to be over. I hereby proclaim today Wigstock Festival 10th Anniversary Day. Is an election coming up? Are you are you being? Is There's an election coming up. I'm not running on this year. You've got Congress. You got Karen Burstein running for Attorney General. You got all kinds of interesting races. Any other people we should watch out for that are in our corner? Well, I just Karen for Attorney General is important. Okay. Thanks for watching this week. Remember to be safe, to respect yourselves and your bodies because you're worth it. And I love you. Bye-bye. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her. Right now behind me is the supermodel of the world, super singer RuPaul.